Hello, today we're going to be talking about the single responsibility principle, otherwise known as SRP. Um, the single responsibility states that a class should have a single responsibility and uh, Uncle Bob defines this as one reason to change. Imagine you've got a car controller class and imagine that it's got one action called post car and imagine that in the action you're doing a bit of a naughty thing really you're um, newing up a new little car model and you're actually populating its properties directly from the request forms in ASP.NET MVC or using the real original ASP.NET not only that but you've got a validate method or a validate car method inside your actual controller class so you're doing the validation in there as well not only that but you've got a save car method and what that does is persist it to the database and if that fails you also log an exception to your logs so you've got various responsibilities you've got model binding you've got persistence and you've got logging and not forgetting the validation so single responsibility would say that's f like four different responsibilities so that's four different reasons to change this class which makes things a bit problematic so if you we think about the crc card for this so we've got our car controller class and its responsibilities are model binding uh, validation and logging and uh, saving the car to the database um, so I suppose we've still got some collaborators we've got the database that we're collaborating with um, we've got the model <laughs> and the logging class so but this class the car controller has got four responsibilities which is far too many so who are the users of the system we often think about how to model the changes to a class. Okay, so we've got the persistence, that's that's the DBAs or the database concern. We've got uh, validation, it's normally the, the business analyst or it's the high level pro policy as Uncle Bob calls it. We've got the model binding which is probably the developers perhaps, it's just like a, a little code thing for us. and. Um, that's our main uh, users of our system the persister, the validator and the binding now Uncle Bob says there's two values of software the second is the current software meets the current uh, needs of the current user and this is all very short term the primary reason or the primary value of software is that software uh, that's easy to change, agile or maintainable and that's uh, what single responsibility is all about so single responsibility means no logic in your views who's done that? I certainly have at some points or presentation markup, whatever you like to call it no logic in store procs, oh I wish that were true <laughs> um, but yeah, so single responsibility means is think about who are the users that are going to want changes to your code and split that out so you can only change a class for one reason. So single responsibility at scale, what about SOA? You could, if you think of it as the large pitch, you can have a search system that's only um, worried about search, purchasing and fulfillment. These things only worry about one system. This is the kind of way that we're uh, increasingly looking at our code. You can have a finance reporting system and that's really single responsibility in a nutshell it's all about one you know one reason to change and if you try and think about who the users are what are the use cases try and pull them apart so you only have to change a class one class at a time and ideally it would obviously be an abstraction so you can just replace the the abstraction or the interface with a different class that has a different thing should the requirements change uh, that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.